Okay, so this is another thing I'd like to show you with um, the America's Most Haunted Pinball Machine. And this is how I do the dots. So how the dots are done is I create backgrounds in Photoshop here. And they're pretty small, you know, a DMD is 128 by 32. And maybe in a game or two I'll switch to LCD, but switching to LCD it's not just, oh, I get a $100 LCD from, you know, Tiger Direct, and that's all I need to do to put an LCD in the game. No, 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 no. It's much more involved than that. So there's reasons why, you know, Stern or someone might not want a DMD quite yet. Anyway, oh, I'm sorry, I want an LCD. So here's an example. Uh, you know, I make some text, in this case, Ghost Free. This is from one of the sub-battle modes. And it's got a stroke on it, so if it's in front of a graphic, it will still look okay. I'm actually going to increase that stroke a little bit too. There we go. All right, and save that. And over here in After Effects, which is probably overkill for pinball, but I don't care. Um, I'm working on the animations for when you free a ghost. So when you're fighting the uh, prison warden, you can hit the swooky door to you hit the door once and it opens. Then you shoot through it to free a ghost and. As so many times as you can do that during the mode, you can, you know, get some points. So let's see, also I actually have to take this and up, uh, update it. All right. So let me show you the animations here for this guy. Let's go back. Okay, so this is going to be the random prompt. You know, just while you're fighting the uh, warden ghost, who's like this fat cannibal, like, oh, I'm a warden ghost, I'm going to eat you. Uh, you'll randomly get a prompt that's like, hey, get me out of here, buddy. And you know, we have the ghost, and he kind of, sh his mouth moves and he shakes to kind of show that he's nervous. And there's an arrow here basically pointing kind of towards the spooky door, so you know what to do. And you know, granted, a game has to tell you, you know, aud audibly and visibly, you know, what to shoot for. So it's kind of redundant. Well, and then there's lights in the play field too, so there's like three ways you have to indicate shots. So this is the ghost saying, hey, get me out of here. And then if you uh, hit the door, you get a different animation. He's like, yay, all right, now do this. Uh, now, <laughs> we were playing uh, Lord of the Rings, and we noticed there's a part where it says, shoot Vuck. It says, shoot right Vuck to do something. And we're like, that's so, that, you know, that's so funny because, you know, a pinball developer would know what a VUK is, a vert vertical up kicker. But the player might not. But we're like, you know what, if it's good enough for Lord of the Rings, it's good enough for us. Plus, you know, it's a, a short abbreviation that fits. So here the ghost is excited, and he's telling you this. Now most of this is done in two dimensions, but uh, things like the door here, see how it opens? That actually is done in, in a three-dimensional plane. It's basically a two-dimensional sprite that is moved in three dimensions. Because again, it's about doing this stuff as quickly as possible. and Well, not as quickly as possible, but easily, you know, so we, it can be done. And that was one thing, uh, one thing about a DMD that I thought was interesting or kind of liberating is that uh, you can kind of get away with crappier graphics which means you can make them quicker and that means you can make the game in a reasonable amount of time. Uh, and Ghost Squad at one time was going to be an LCD game but it, the computer to uh, low level interface was just too much so we just made it a DMD. But as I went through this I realized you know if you're doing all the stuff in After Effects anyway and you just click a button to render it it's not that much more difficult than just you know doing it in a normal resolution, a modern resolution. Okay, so this is when you free the ghost. He's like, yay! Now, ghost freed kind of popping up. It works, but I'm going to get a little bit more interest. So I'm going to put a keyframe on scale here. And I'm going to go a few frames forward and put them 100% scale there. I'm going to go back here and put it at 0% scale. So ghost freed will pop into the screen. Okay, now that's not quite enough. Now here's a little animation trick. I'm not claiming to be Richard Williams, and you, know, you have to be a pretty big animation aficionado to know who, know who that is, but uh, see how it comes up here and it just stops? The trick to making it look good is to actually overthrowing it. So we go to 105%, so and it, it zooms up and it gets a little too big, too big, and then it goes back down. And this will give it like a nice kind of... See how that looks a little bit better? It's got a little bit more weight to it when you do it that way. Clunk, see that? Cool. All right, anyway, that was an example of uh, how we do the dots. And I'll probably make a separate video where I show the conversion process, which is a command line interface in Java. We'll get a GUI eventually, though.